What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to tutorial six. And today I'll be going to talk about how to delete bucket policy. So in, in last few tutorial, we have seen how to create, how to read uh, bucket policy using Boto3 Python. And in this tutorial, we'll be going to see how to delete. So again, this will be very uh, simple or maybe two, three minutes tutorial, but just try to keep focus and uh, it will be uh, definitely useful uh, uh, sometime later on whenever you are going to work uh, on some sort of automation project or some sort of project where AWS and Python is required. So again, uh, I'm not going to talk about anything uh, regarding this prerequisite. So it is kind of same. Uh, we need Boto3 and AWS CLI, then you can create uh, your IAM user and all this thing or this sort of configuration uh, related stuffs are already covered in that first tutorial. You guys can go ahead and watch this thing again if someone is not familiar with this thing. Next thing is the configuration of the CLI. Again, I have already uh, have a separate video for this thing. And the next thing is the actual objective of today's tutorial, which is how to delete S3 bucket policy using Boto3 Python. So let me quickly open my Jupyter notebook. Okay, so I have opened the Jupyter Notebook. So let me just create few cells. Okay, and then import Boto3, right? Okay, it's done. Then let me create S3 uh, client. So it will be Boto3 dot client. And inside that I'll put S3. Okay, so now let me run this thing and now let me open my aws console okay so we'll see what actually i'm planning to do or trying to do okay so what happened aws is not connected okay it is not connected to the proper wi-fi so that is why the problem okay so it's connected now let me try to open this thing it's opening okay so let me sign into the console okay done let me log in with the root user then this okay it's done let me open s3 okay so we have a bucket total technology and now if you see here we have a bucket policy so i want to delete this policy using boto3 okay so for that thing what do you want to do s3 underscore resource dot uh, you can write delete bucket policy right and after that you can just like something this thing total the bucket name actually total technology okay so if you uh, run this thing you will get some res response and depending on the response or depending on the um, uh, like whether it is getting failed or success you will get the actual response okay see uh, so i got the response it means everything is fine okay request id and it is completed so now what i'll do i'll just try to refresh this thing we'll see whether it is getting deleted or not it already deleted it's deleted and sometimes what happens you can get some sort of uh, like a message that some object is getting updated it means it is getting deleted but here it is already deleted if you see so this is very simple thing guys so within three lines of code or maybe within five minutes you know how to delete bucket policy so now if you uh, like uh, uh, like summarize all our last uh, six tutorial this is tutorial number six so we have seen how to create bucket we have seen how to get the bucket name how to get the bucket creation date how to create policy how to read policy and how to delete policy so we have six different use cases has been covered already guys so have fun i believe you guys are enjoying and same thing uh, i would like to again repeat myself that if you guys are having some sort of other use cases which you want me to cover please feel free to write me i'll try to incorporate all this thing in this tutorial okay don't just blindly follow my tutorial just try to communicate with me then actually you will get some sort of uh, what do you say like idea and what is actually happening behind so let me just insert this thing is done okay fine this is done so let me save this thing done so remove delete so let me just reiterate this thing we know all this this is required we know how to create the client object boto3 uh, s3 client object and after that we created 
not created we are just calling this method to delete so bucket equals to total technology means you have to assign the name just because i know the uh, bucket name i am just doing this hard coding thing but in actual real world scenario if suppose we are having 10 buckets how to do that we'll do some sort of for looping so we'll do those sort of complex tutorial later on but just to set the expectation or just set to temp set the tempo or just to make you guys feel more comfortable more relaxed more uh, like confident i'm just doing or segregating this tutorial in small bits and pieces so hope you guys are enjoying and apart from this thing if you guys are having any feedback suggestion or you want me to improve some quality or whatever just feel free to write me i always want to improve our quality okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to practice cause if you just blindly follow the video you'll not get anywhere you have to do practice or else definitely will forget so so once more time we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day